Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome in. My name's Amanda and this is The Connected Conduit. This will be a timeless love reading for you, a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. Okay, so the message that I'm receiving is that your divine masculine is feeling really confused and they're struggling. They want to communicate, but they're holding themselves back. It's, it's kind of like this energy of like, how do I come in? What do I say? What's the best approach? Okay, because it could be, it could have been quite a, a long time that's passed since you guys last spoke. And I feel like whatever it is that they have to say to you right now, it's it's heavy. It's not um, a little something. You know, it's it's going to be emotional, very emotional. It will be important. It's not going to be surface level, you know, they really, really need to get something off their chest and they need to get it off their chest now before they go insane, okay? Because it's been weighing on them for a long, long time and they want to know what's going on with you. I feel like you've been really quiet. You've distanced yourself. You've pulled away. You could have blocked them off of social media or off of your phone, block their number, whatever it is for you, okay? Um, and, and they are just, they're feeling this. They're feeling the effects of this, and they don't know if they're going to be received very well or if you're going to shut them out. And so there's a lot of fear, uncertainty. They're nervous, and they have a lot to say to you. So... Let's dig in. Let's see what this masculine wants to say. Yeah, there it is. Two of swords and the ace of cups right off the split. <laughs> this is that energy of, you know, they worry that you're going to block them out and say, no, I don't want to hear it when they come in to tell you that, you know, they love you. I'm telling you, this is not just a little conversation. This is going to be important. They're going to open up and communicate their feelings to you. Page of swords. There's that communication Okay, they've been watching you, keeping tabs on you, keeping a close eye on you, watching your social mo- oh, I almost said movie, so maybe you're in the movies, I don't know. <laughs> um, interesting. Watching your social media, but the Page of Swords also speaks to a delay, a delay in communication, and the lovers, wow. <laughs> They want to tell you they love you. Like I said, this is not just a little conversation. This is a big conversation that's going to be very important, very meaningful. And they're nervous. They're nervous that you're not going to receive them very well. Okay, let's see what they really want to say to you. The High Priestess. <laughs> It's a secret, you guys. Spirit doesn't want me to dig too deep into that because it's going to be a very a very special conversation between you and your masculine. And I feel that, you know, spirit wants it to be a bit of a mystery, a bit of a surprise for you, okay? But I feel that it's something that you are expecting intuitively. You can feel this coming intuitively. You know this communication is close. The devil. There is that fear. There it is. There's that block, you guys. Your masculine hasn't been able to move on from you, forget you. Um, you're all, your energy is always with them, all the time. Day and night, night and day. And they've been dreaming about you a lot. A lot almost every night and they're very intimate dreams okay extremely passionate intimate dreams also very tender loving sweet caring dreams as well where you're just sort of holding them stroking their hair um, kissing their cheek you know just whispering sweet things into their ear and they just melt. They melt into you. And I feel like this is a masculine who's really yearning for that tenderness that you bring. Okay. So 
so there's some fear here because they're they're about to reveal a big secret to you although divine feminine you're so intuitive i don't really feel like this is a secret i feel that you know you already know what this is judgment whoa okay we've got three majors here you guys three major arcanas so this is a pretty big energy judgment speaks to answering the call of your soul answering the call of, of the divine okay it speaks to making a major life decision it talks about using good judgment making good decisions and it talks about ascension okay so your divine masculine's vibration has been going up they've been growing expanding learning evolving and a lot of the things that they used to resonate with they no longer resonate with those things so people places and things have been falling away from their life i feel like they have a lot to tell you they've made major decisions in their life here and they want a second chance judgment is also an energy of second chances reconciliation communication this is pretty big but they're having to push past this insecurity here with the devil energy this is fear worry doubt um obsessing over what to say overthinking over analyzing because this information that they've held from you this communication that they've held back from you it's been eating them up inside okay it's, it's almost driving them like i said to the brink of insanity i mean look at this guy in the devil card you know he's got his hoodie pulled over his head his hands are over his head it almost looks like he's in some sort of fetal position where he's like rocking back and forth going oh my god oh my god oh my god like I have to get this off my chest. And if you notice in this judgment card, there's a woman with this, um, it's almost like her soul is extending outside of her body here. And this is representative of your masculine's love for you. Okay, this up here is your masculine's love for you. And this is what has been sitting on their chest. Do you notice how this ballerina is standing on her chest? <laughs> so... It's like they want to get this off their chest because it's heavy and it's been standing. It's been sitting, laying on their chest for a long time. Okay, the Fool card. So they want a new beginning with you. They see a life with you. They're about to take this leap of faith and communicate. Okay. Yep, Eight of Wands. You guys, you can't make this stuff up. Look at this. The Eight of Wands represents communication, a telephone call, text messages, DMs, an email, travel, communication, and it's coming in very quickly after a period of silence. Yep, Knight of Swords, communication, very quick, impulsive, sudden communication that comes in here. Four of Wands. So your masculine wants to establish a solid foundation with you. They want to work on this. They want to build a partnership here. They want to build a life with you. They see themselves living with you, marrying you, having a family with you, having a happy home life. This is a major milestone for you guys. I keep picking this up in my readings that Divine Feminine, you and your masculine's connection is about to go up to the next level. You're reaching a major milestone here when it comes to your connection and things are going to be progressing and moving forward very quickly. You're going to have something to celebrate here. Oops. The Queen of Pentacles. So... The Queen of Pentacles is an energy of knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing what you bring to the table. Um, and I feel this is your energy, Divine Feminine. 
okay? This is how your masculine sees you. They see you as the perfect partner or the perfect parent. You're very nurturing. You're grounded, stable, loyal. You're committed to what you do. You're not afraid of hard work. You're very dedicated. And they've seen you they've seen you succeed and you're very independent and they they really love this about you but it also triggers insecurities in this masculine because they wonder if you even need them they wonder if you even want them they wonder if you even feel the same way that they feel about you because you seem very unbothered by everything that's been going on between the two of you you've been able to hold your center okay but i feel that of course you've been bothered. Of course this has affected you. You've just dealt with it really, really well because you have a strong spiritual practice. You have a strong connection to your own soul and you have a strong connection to your spirit team or the divine, okay? And it's really carried you through. It's really benefited you because it's helped you understand this connection on maybe a deeper level or at a higher perspective than your masculine has been able to understand it okay so you guys will be expanding and talking about your future here three of wands okay so yeah queen of wands they're so attracted to you they love everything about you. The magician. So your masculine is going to make this happen. They are manifesting a new beginning with you. They're manifesting truthful communication with you about a major decision that they've made in their life. King of Swords. Okay, there's that communication. Okay. I'm going to pull some direct messages for you. These may or may not resonate with you. I can hear a masculine saying, I'm having trouble finding the words to even express how deeply I feel for you, how deeply I love and cherish you. I'm having a hard time finding the words and I don't want to make a fool of myself. I want to get this right. I'm about to ask you for your forgiveness. Yeah, because they want a second chance. They want reconciliation. You're perfect for me. Everything about you is perfect. It's like you are made just for me. Mm -hmm. That message was coming through when the Queen of Pentacles came out. You are perfect. You're the perfect partner, the perfect parent. You're perfect for them, Divine Feminine, okay? And this is just adding to the pressure they're feeling about not messing this up, about getting this right. I don't want anyone else to touch you or have you. You're mine, and I'm feeling possessive. Mm -hmm. The Devil card is out here, yeah. But I feel that that trigger is is making your masculine sort of address that wound and and come from a more healed perspective on things okay oops it's also encouraging them to take action in their life i feel to make their move to speak their peace to get it off their chest Okay, we have crazy things keep happening to me. What's going on? This connection is undeniably spiritual. Mm -hmm. So they could be seeing your name everywhere. They could be hearing your voice, receiving telepathic communication, dreaming about you, hearing the same song everywhere they go. And that song has your name in it. Okay, it's like things like this that are constantly being flung at your masculine and it's undeniable. It's like the universe is like <laughs> leaving no room for doubt about you. 
There's no, no doubt in your masculine's mind about who you are. I can't believe I just let you slip away. They're fine. They're just playing. Don't worry. <laughs> if you heard my kiddos yelling in the background, they're just having a good time. Okay, so yeah, they're kicking themselves here. I can't believe I just let you slip away. So they don't want you to slip away. And that's why they're coming back to, to, to talk. Okay, ask for your forgiveness. See if you guys can take this to the next level. See if you can ground this connection um, and smooth the waters. What have you done to me? I'm head over heels in love with you. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So this is what I have for you for this quick energy check-in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got something from this reading. And I'm wishing you all the best on your journey. Sending you all the good vibes. And remember, stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned.